This is Sophie Heller, and this is an ACT science question. The question is asking us, according to this table one, the star with the greatest apparent magnitude, so let's underline that, greatest apparent magnitude, and the star with the greatest absolute magnitude are which ones? So let's look at our, so we have our apparent brightness, so that's gonna correspond to our magnitude, and our absolute brightness. And it's important to look at this part. So it tells us, it's important to note that lower numerical values for brightness correspond to brighter objects. So the lower this value, or this value, the brighter, um, the brighter, therefore bigger the star is. So we want to look and see what our lowest values are. So for apparent brightness, our lowest value is plus one, this C. So we know that we want our first answer, so um, the greatest apparent magnitude to be C. So we want C and question mark. So let's go through our answer choices and eliminate anything that doesn't mention C first. So choice one, A is bad. A is actually our, it's biggest, it's our um, biggest number, but we know that they're correlated um, inversely. So A is bad. That has a C, we'll keep that. B, also bad, plus three, it's not the smallest, it's not the biggest, not good. And that also has a C. So let's look at our absolute brightness. So it's the same um, principle, we wanna look for the lowest number. And our lowest number is again C, negative one. So we want to look in our answer choices, and we see C and C, which is going to be our choice, because C is, has the lowest number for both things. D isn't valid because it's zero, so it's not, it's bigger than negative one. So that's not going to be good. So choice two is our answer. 